Welcome to the channel guys. We are back again and today I'm doing the tag video for fragrances that I would buy backup bottles of. So stay tuned for that. And if you like the content guys, hit that like and subscribe button. I really do appreciate it. Now first I want to give a shout out to Chris. He did tag me in this, um, in this video. So I'm going to leave a link to his channel down below. Make sure to check him out and subscribe to his channel as well for some really great content. I will say this was actually a little bit of a hard topic for me. I'm not somebody who really buys backup bottles and I probably won't because there are a lot of fragrances in my collection and in all honesty, it would take me a long time to use any of them. So I find a lot of the times what happens is there will be fragrances that I really love. I'll use them, I'll wear them for a while. I still enjoy them maybe, but I don't know that I often would love them enough to pay for another bottle. Um, it remains to be seen, there might be some fragrances that I would do that with, but I also find that, you know, there's always new fragrances, there's always new things to find, so ultimately, I would probably just replace most bottles with something else newer that I haven't worn or haven't had yet, um, and that's just the way I tend to go about things. But on the other hand, I do understand how many people do buy backup bottles of fragrances they love, Fragrance can definitely have connections to memory, and when you have a lot of positive memories associated with a fragrance, it's always nice to have it in your collection. But with that all said, I've managed to pick out four fragrances that I will probably at least buy again when I'm out of them, and that I have at least thought of buying a backup bottle of for various reasons. So the first one is the One EDP. I absolutely love this fragrance. This is one of these fragrances that I absolutely fell in love with on first sniff. It is just such a gorgeous aromatic amber and tobacco scent. It is very mass appealing, so it's very easy to wear this one. It's sensual, it's a little bit sexy, and it's nice to wear on dates as well. And so personally, I do have um, you know, some good memories associated with this one, and I do really enjoy this one. I find it's one that is easy for me to wear, and it's even one that I enjoy wearing just around the house. Because I do really love that aromatic tobacco vibe that this one has. Absolutely fantastic fragrance and definitely one that I think is worth checking out if you haven't. I know this one is talked about like a lot, so it's definitely not going to be a surprise to anyone. But if you haven't tried this one out, I definitely recommend. The EDP is far, far better to me. I find it to be deeper. I find it to be a little bit creamier. Um, and it just has better performance as well. Overall, it's a much more sensual, long-lasting fragrance, although performance is still an issue with this one. The next one I have definitely thought about picking up a backup bottle of, and it's one that I'm probably going to pick up again when I'm out of it, which I actually am getting fairly close, and that is Ouajan by Parfums de Marly. absolutely love this fragrance. It was my first niche fragrance that I ever actually even smelled, um, and it was the first niche fragrance that I ever bought the plunge and buy. So there is some uh, sort of memory attached to it for me, I really love the cinnamon honey in this one. It's very luxurious, and when I am in the mood to put this one on, it's one that feels very opulent and luxurious, and basically makes me feel like a king when I'm wearing this one. And so, I mean, what better reason to wear a fragrance than making you feel better and making you feel more confident and comfortable? Really, that's ultimately one of the best things that uh, fragrance can do for you, and this is what happens when I wear this one, when I decide this is what I'm gonna wear today. That's the way I feel. Really do enjoy this one. A lot of people describe it as an apple pie fragrance. I don't really get that. I do sometimes get a bit of a fruity vibe. I know that comes from the Osmanthus. Personally, I find it to be a honey cinnamon bomb. It is very gourmandy, which is my favorite category of fragrance. I do enjoy this one quite a bit. So I would pick up another bottle of this one for sure. The next one I almost bought a backup bottle of, mostly because it is a limited edition and it was on sale at Saks. I did decide not to buy it uh, because ultimately it's probably going to take me five years to go through this bottle and that is straight to heaven extreme. Of course, this is one that took a long time and a lot of work to get into my collection. It is a beautiful, boozy, woody fragrance with a nice dried fruit vibe. That's a nice sweetness to the very, very boozy straight to heaven extreme. So I do like this one a lot. It's a personal favorite of mine. Might not be the most mass appealing and most wearable fragrance, although I know for a lot of Killian fans, this is their favorite. Um, I don't actually know if it is my favorite Killian, but it's definitely in the top three. Um, 
I think my favorites change a lot on any given day, but I do really like this one. Great for the fall and winter. I mean, I would even wear this one to the office, even though I know that's probably not the best thing, you know, smelling like a bottle of rum, but it's just so gorgeous. It's so, um, so pleasant to smell. And it's really something that you can wear casually or formally. I think this is great for a suit and tie fragrance. Absolutely great for that. Um, but it is also still nice to wear when you're just going out. Um, great fragrance overall. Almost bought it, almost bought a sit backup bottle of this one, but I did not. Next one is one that I actually was gifted by my parents for my birthday. So it has that sort of memento of it to it for me. It's also one that I've actually really enjoyed. It's a mature fragrance and I'm getting a little older. So for me, those types of fragrances really work. And that is Creed Viking. I managed to get this one from Costco for $160 brand new in box, which I think is actually a pretty good and fair price, especially considering the retail for this is like $500 or something ridiculous. Um, which I would not pay, by the way. Guys, I don't think it, that's crazy price. Um, but that's Creed prices, I guess. If you can find this one on discount, I think it's worth it. I think it's great. But this is a nice, fresh, spicy fragrance. Definitely a modern touch on that barbershop DNA. Has a really gorgeous rose in the dry down. Nice, sweet, realistic rose that comes out during the mid and the dry down. Very, very invigorating. Very fierce in the beginning. Has mint. I really like that mint that that has a bit of a cooling effect that actually clashes with the spiciness and the fieriness of this fragrance. Works really well for me. Love this one. Definitely for a more mature put together guy and this is what I like it for. And it is one that I can easily wear, you know, all day, every day. I could wear this. When I first got this, I wore it three days in a row, which is like, I usually never wear the same fragrance, you know, more than, I once in a week. Sometimes I'll wear something more, but I wore this one three days in a row, which is a lot for someone like me. Really do like this one. Was thinking of getting a bottle again, because I think 160 is a very good price. Um, sometimes I've seen it occasionally on the Facebook groups for less than that, but it is fairly hard to find for that price. So I did think of getting a backup bottle for that, but this is probably one that when I finish it, I will get another bottle of it. Anyways, guys, that's it for the four fragrances that I would buy backup bottles of. As I mentioned, not a huge fan of backup bottles just because there's so much variety to choose from already. Um, and it will take me probably five years to use any bottle anyways. But the spirit of the video was great and it really made me think about what I value and what I love in my collection. Not that these are necessarily my top four or four most loved fragrances. They're just fragrances that I like having around. And anyways, don't forget to comment down below what are four fragrances you'd buy um, backup bottles of and hit that like and subscribe button. See you guys in the next video.